Okay, let's do this question one last time. This time we're gonna make both the charges negative. So we know two negative charges naturally wants to repel from each other. Similar style of question. If we take this negative 50 microcoulomb charge and imagine the negative 30 microcoulomb one is nailed down, if I start it at location A and I move it to location B very, very slowly, so I'm not giving it any kinetic energy, what is the change in energy of that sphere? So once again, how much work is done? Work is change in energy. So it's exactly like the last one. Change in energy is going to be my final energy minus initial. And since we're not talking about any speeds, it's all potential. So it's going to look like this. K, Q1, Q2 over our final minus K, Q1, Q2 over our initial. Again, I'm going to factor out a K, Q1, Q2 just to make my algebra a little easier. And it becomes the following expression. Now let's put in our values. Nine times 10 to the nine. And again, we've got to put in our charges exactly the way we see them. Q1, negative 50 times 10 to the negative six. Q2, negative 30 times 10 to the negative six. Our final, 1 over 1.2 minus 1 over 2 meters. And two negatives, when they multiply together, make a positive. And when all is said and done, the work required or the change in energy to go from A to B is a positive number, which makes sense. I have to put effort into this to get it to squeeze closer to the other negative charge since it's naturally repelling it. So in order to move from A to B, a force is required over a distance. So I'm doing, I'm giving it more energy.